It's always interesting how selective Nike is pumping out its annual Air Max model. So I don't know if this is the new Air Max or if it's not the new Air Max. All I know is that it is a brand new Air Max. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look and review on these guys right here. This, my friends, is the Nike Air Max Zephyr. I don't know what to think about these. I don't not like them. I just wish that Nike liked them enough to promote them themselves. So what we have here is kind of a new iteration of the 720. That was, wasn't even last year. When was that? It was a few years ago. So what has been the new Air Max since then? Was it the 270 React? Mm -hmm. And there's been the 200 and there's been oh, the yeah. 2090. Oh yeah. Man, those are some forgettable models. Hey, I love the 2090. I'm just saying, if I don't remember it, then it didn't stick out enough. That's what she said. <clears throat> so like I was just saying, these guys are kind of a take or a new iteration on the 720. However, they changed up the upper a little bit. They added some more rubber here and there. Also some more air in certain areas that don't affect really anything, but Nike does what Nike does. And I'll start off with the outsole. So like I was saying, they added more rubber. The 720 was an interesting shoe because it had a big old gap where there was no rubber. You know what I mean? It had like the rubber pod in the fourth foot and then it had all the rubber around where the uh the air unit is everything after that though was all hollowed out so you can see and really feel the foam compress it was super comfortable these are a little bit different i don't think i like these as much as far as like a direct comparison i do think that the 720 is more comfortable however these guys are a little bit more rugged so some people might like this as far as durability and if that's you i think that's awesome so what we have is full length rubber right here these remind me of the jordan brand version and it was all rubber everything they were super heavy this particular colorway is translucent but it's got that smoky gray look so i think it looks pretty cool i do not know if they're going to yellow though only time can tell now moving on up to the cushion we have the 720 unit it's a full length unit it's a little deceiving though because it's just a uh, surrounding unit so it's just this it's not all of this it's all hollow as far as air goes and inside of that they injected foam what kind of foam is there this time i don't know i do know that it's kind of soft but it also feels dense at the same time i think it's because this is full like it's not hollowed out like it was last time so it doesn't allow all that cool compression and bounce it just kind of has a area where it stops however i do like the shape of everything like i think that this all looks really cool it looks modern but it also looks retro so i do like that i'm still not loving this new logo though the new air logo you know the macaroni noodles yeah I, I guess it doesn't bother me as much on an air shoe because i don't love air shoes typically i like zoom air shoes but they also changed the zoom air logo to look like that and i'm like hey why'd you mess with that so it is what it is it's not a big deal it's just a stupid logo but it's just something to point out the upper is where i do like things quite a bit they have a bunch of little layers on here and i think it looks fantastic i do still like the 720 overall just because it had a, a really nice micro mesh and i love the colorways on those like they had such cool color applications they were faded they had different variations with different materials like it was just a really dope shoe to me this one again it feels modern but retro at the same time almost like the 270 react and stuff in the 200 anyways what we have here is a bunch of different layers so we have micro mesh in the back as well as the mid panel a little bit of that on the tongue the forefoot area though is this open cell mesh which i really like and i like the way that it looks it's like a cool cross hatch and then on top of that they've got synthetic materials and some uh, of the skin fuse which we see periodically and i love all of this stuff i I love the colors. I love how it just kind of like pops all over the place. It looks really sick. This midfoot thing, I love it and I don't at the same time. The reason why I love it is because it's there. It looks dope, gives depth, some design, all that stuff. It's rubber on top of that, which is pretty cool. You don't see that very often. However, there's these weird giant air units on there and I still don't understand the purpose of that. They look like water blisters. They do. They just look weird, you know? I don't not like them because like on the LeBron, it's not functional, but cool. Like if I was young, I'd be totally into this. It's just that I'm not young anymore. And so I don't really like, I like this air unit. Why is this one here? However, if they would have tinted these, that would have been cool. What I do like about this though, is that it does show you how air works. Like this is all welded together. It's all heat welded. This is the new way of air units. So if you were ever curious as far as like what it takes to make an air unit or what an air unit looks like outside of a midsole, that's it. They also have it on the tongue. This is the one that I do like because this reminds me of the old Tempo stuff. And it also has the weird logo, the macaroni air logo that I'm not loving, but it's behind there. Again, like the old Tempo stuff that they used to have it here. They used to have it on the heel or on the tongue just like this. And back then that was the gel logo. So this reminds me of that. I can like that. 
it's just a nice little throwback touch that's also new so i dig it both ways i just think that they could have done a little bit more with this now as far as sizing is concerned they do fit just like the 720s so i would recommend going true to size however there's a noticeable slant when you're wearing them so your toes are definitely like being forced to the forefoot of the shoe if you don't like that feeling you could go up half a size my only problem with that is that like i had a couple of pairs of the 720s one of them was up a half size and i just didn't like the way that it would flop off my heel so true to size for me was the best option but whatever you wore in that shoe that's what i would recommend for these because it's pretty much the same thing it's just like a redesign retail price is 190 they're available right now over at all nike retailers including phenom global so if you're interested we'll leave a link down below in the description box and you can go ahead and check them out so i forgot to talk about the little insole logo it's groovy baby oh wow yeah i really like that thing it's pretty cool that's the thing i don't hate the model i just wish that nike promoted it because i didn't even know that they were around yeah no that is weird especially because to take it back to traction that was one of the faults with the 720 is as soon as they got wet and oh, you yeah. hit you were, tile you were sliding <laughs> man or uh like carport a, area yeah. or something yeah it's a smoothed out surface yeah i like the little changes I, I don't think that they made them more comfortable but they definitely made them more durable and so again it just kind of depends on your preference as a consumer like do you prefer comfort over durability or durability over comfort you know what i'm saying like you know how some people prefer looks over everything yeah like this is a big thing in, in women's footwear where their feet are be you know what i mean and it's definitely you know that that's not comfortable but they're like yeah but i feel like i look good and so it's like all right if that's all you care about, then that's cool. But you are a fan of the annual Air Max shoe. And again, I don't know if this is this year's Air Max. I feel but like... if it was, do you like these? Mm, oh, you know, last know. year's model, the, the 2090. 2090, is still my go-to. Like, oh, we're heading out the door real quick. Yeah, she wears those all the time. I don't even think they're white anymore. I think they they're brown. They are definitely not. Like, yeah. they've been on so many hikes and we had to dig a hole in our yard. <laughs> so yes. those things are but they got I love their, them. Yeah, she got her money's worth. I will say that those are way more comfortable than these. Yes. So, so. if you're looking for comfort, that's yeah. the model that I would go with if you're looking for a newer Air Max model. But if you need the newest, the new of the new, yeah, that is this one. The good thing, though, is that they retail for so high that they'll be discounted real quick. So if you wanted to save some money, just wait a little bit and they should be on sale soon. I really like the toe area. It reminds me of a 90s shoe. Like, I, I understand I swear. why, because the toe area is totally the two hundreds very similar yeah all the paneling yes on top of the mesh it reminds me of an old mid 90s air max mm -hmm. you know like it just looks cool like that but anyways that pretty much takes care of it for these guys again this is the nike air max zephyr it's a brand new model from nike that you may never have heard of because they didn't we talk hadn't. about it yeah <laughs> i literally walked in the store i was like what the, what the hell is that <laughs> and i was like i must talk about these so uh yeah thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support and until next time guys have a good one